emphasizes a group of disorders. Uh, they are grouped together for convenience, but they are more different than they have similarities. Uh, for instance, uh, blood cancers behave and being treated very different to breast cancer. In developed world, there are cancer specialists who treat only one particular type of cancer. That is because they are very different though we have put them in the same basket. But they have some similarities as well. They are all abnormal cells and they have the potential to invade and go and sit in different places in the body where they are not supposed to live. Uh, and also they suppress normal cells and they are less likely to die and they multiply quicker than normal cells. So those are some similarities in cancers. However, individual cancers are very different and there are hundreds of types of cancers and they are behaving differently and they are being treated differently. Uh, we have uh, millions of cells in the body. Uh, one or more cells will change into cancer cells due to faults in genetics. When we have cells and when they divide every day, mistakes happen. In normal, under normal circumstances, those mistaken cells are destroyed by the body or oh, they are called mutations in the genetic material. If there is a genetic mutation, they will be tackled by our own system. So they don't grow or they don't multiply. But under certain circumstances, they can invade that surveillance and start multiplying. So what starts in one or two cells, so couple of cells can multiply and become a cancer. When it comes to these genetic changes, some may be due to uh, external uh, uh, exposure like uh, radiation therapy or what we take as our diet or due to medication or it could be due to inherent problems. There are some cancers which come in families. There are some instances where our immune system is weakened so they can't detect cancer cells or mutated cells which will enable those cells to escape the surveillance and multiply as a cancer. When, they, uh, when there are genetic changes or when they become cancerous cells, they get a distinct advantage of other cells. They multiply more and also they are less likely to die. Most of the cancers happen because they multiply more. There are too many cells, too many unwanted or damaged cells which can suppress the normal cells or they can invade they those cells get the ability to invade into other tissues also they get the ability to go into a distant place and sit there now in our body there is a regulated system where individual cells sit now in the brain the brain cells or neurons are there in the heart heart muscle cells are there they don't go to brain but when a cancer cell when you look at a cancer cell that has the ability to go into the strange environment where they are not supposed to be so that is called metastasis so those changes help cancer cells to spread and destroy somebody